Fotivo is a raw image editing program. Um, we'll go here real quick and if you want more information about Fotivo, you can go to their website, fotivo.org. One thing I do really like about Fotivo is that it is cross-platform compatible. So if you have Windows or Linux or Mac, you can use Fotivo. Uh, I only use Linux and uh, it's fairly easy to install through the PPA. I've had problems installing it in the past, but mainly today I just want to focus a little bit on how to use it and do a short little tutorial. Um, I think Fotivo is quite a nice program. I, I'm not sure if it's my favorite raw image editor in Linux yet or not, but I do like it. Uh, so to start out, we'll open an image. So we can go here in the file manager and I already have a folder selected that I've selected before. Uh, these are engagement pictures of me and my fiance. So I will go ahead and pick one. Um, I worked on this one before. And so it will open up here and uh, you can see, you know, there's some light space up here. There's uh, the sun reflector here that we'll need to crop out. I, I went ahead and I already made some edits to this and I have it in a preset so I, I can go ahead and show you that now I'll open up the preset the tutorial so this this is the final image uh, and this is what I will be showing basically how to do so to get started we'll go here and uh, we'll just reset the image so we'll start it back to the original image and I'll just go through and show you uh, some of the edits I like to make um, so to start out we will go to RGB and I will use probably mostly this tab and we'll start with the exposure and with the exposure uh, we can go ahead and can set it to auto if you'd like um, see what that does Usually with the exposure, when I'm all said and done with the image, I'll probably go back and change it anyway. So this isn't too important to me right now, but I'll get it something where I like. And then after that, uh, we'll go ahead and change some of the color, uh, make the colors come out just a little bit more, not too much. So I'll increase the vibrance just a little bit. One thing with Fotivo, uh, you can see here, if you want to just edit the number, if you right click, it will bring up a dialog. So you can just type in the number and press enter and make the changes that way. Uh, for some things, they have large steps. So if you need more precise steps, you'll have to do it that way. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll look at the texture contrast. Um, well, one thing uh, that can be noted about texture contrast is if you wanted to do something like an HDR picture, like maybe you took a picture of a building or a landscape and wanted to make it HDR, this could be done in the texture contrast. It gets all the texture in the image and, uh, well, it contrasts them. So I'll show you, like if you make the amount go up really high, you can see it's kind of got that um, almost HDR look uh, or tone mapping look if you increase the threshold it really shows up but uh, this is the opposite of what I want to do for this image because I want to make it more soft skin tone so I'll put the threshold down and, and then with the amount I'll actually make the amount go negative a bit and I'll kind of soften the image get more soft skin tones uh, then after that, uh, we'll do some contrast with the, the lighting and the colors. So for that, I'll do the sigmo sigmoidal, I, I guess that's how you say it, sigmoidal contrast. We'll just increase the strength a little bit and see how what that does for us. You can see as I slowly increase it, the colors are kind of popping out a little bit more in the levels. It's uh, kind of getting some levels that I like a little bit more looks a little more like a crisp image 
so I like that. So after we do that, um, we, we can even play with the RGB curve. Uh, just so I can show you curves. You can see right now it's got just one point and you can just click on that point and move it and make changes that way. If you want to do some more specific things, uh, like if you only wanted to move the top, you could right click on the line, it will add a point and then you can move that part up and make some changes that way and bring out some of the colors in the background a little bit more. Uh, so I'm liking that so far. So the next thing we'll do is we'll go and sharpen. So we'll go to the lab sharpen and noise tab. Uh, out of all of these, my preferred tool is, uh, I don't know if this is like the whiner sharpen or the wiener or whatever, but uh, whatever this tool is called, this is uh, my favorite sharpening tool. Uh, one problem with this is, um, I don't know if this is the only way you can do it in Fotiva. I lo I've looked for a way to change it, but if you zoom in, so that's 100%. Uh, once you zoom in more, it's, it's quite pixelated. Um, and so when you try to sharpen it, you can't really tell a difference. Uh, but I like to sharpen it just a bit. Uh, and I also like to have the only edges selected. You can unselect that. You can see some of the changes made. Uh, like if you look real close here, you can see how it kind of changes. I, I don't care to have everything sharpened, just kind of the edges around everything. Um, so we've got that sharpened and that's looking nice. Uh, and then we can go ahead and can add some eye candy. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the lab eye candy. We'll, we'll do a vignette. Um, so a vignette, if you don't already know, it's just adding the black around the photo. Uh, I can show you, for example, if you do a fancy, that's quite a bit. Um, I don't like that much. A hard is a little bit less and soft. That's what I prefer. I, it's, it's almost hard to tell it's there. Um, I can add a little bit more and kind of make it just dark around the edges and I'm, I'm kind of liking that. So I'll keep that there. Uh, and then my last thing I'll do is um, I'll just show you the in the eye candy tab the soft glow and Orton filter. Um, th this kind of just makes everything glow a little bit. It softens everything up. Um, so we'll do um, the screen and you can see that it makes everything really quite glowy. It's kind of a nice effect. For me it's a little bit too much. I, d I don't want it that much. So I will take it down. Um, so it has just a little bit of glow but not too much to be distracting. Um, so I'm liking that and like I said before in this tutorial once I've made most of my changes I like to go back and, and play with the exposure just a little bit more. And I think I'm going to drop this down just a tiny little bit to see the colors a little bit more. Alright. And, uh, you know, it's not perfect. I could play around with it a bit more, but I don't want to make this tutorial too long. Um, and the last thing I'll, I'll want to do with this is crop. But before we crop it, we'll want to save the settings for this. So if there's another similar image, we can use those same settings. Um, Fotivo does this in kind of a weird way. The first way I found out to do it is you can go to this active tools and you can click right click on each tool and you can go append preset I can go here and I can either select something that exists and it will change the settings or I can make uh, a new preset uh, the problem with this is it's quite cumbersome and time consuming uh, if I made a new preset I won't but I'll cancel say I added it to make fancy then I go cancel then I'd have to come here do the same thing and I'd have to append the preset to make fancy again and I have to keep on doing that um, so an easier way to do it is just to save the image um, before you do that you'll have to go to the settings in Fotivo and click on this 
and then go to the button modes. Uh, I think by default, it it's set to pipe size. Uh, I I find this not very useful, so we'll just do send to batch, and click on that, and then that's good. So now what we'll do is that will make this button so if we press it it saves the the image preset and then it sends uh this image to a batch manager which we'll look at in just a bit. So I'll click on this and it it gives me the name of the image which is fine but uh just to make this more specific I'll say something like tutorial geek Tutorial, and then I'll save it. Now it by default will save in the same folder as all your images, and you can see I have it here. Well, if I want to use it in the future on other images, I'll need to put it in the presets folder. So in Linux, there's a dot fotivo folder slash preset. So I'm just going to drag that here, and I'll copy it there. So now I have that saved. So now I can go back here. One thing we can do, we can look at the batch manager. And you can see I already have one image there waiting to to save as a JPEG. I'll close that. I'll go, uh, well, I guess one thing I'll do first, um, I'll go ahead and crop this image before I forget. So we will go to geometry and crop, click on the scissors and I want her dress in it I don't want the reflector uh, yeah I think that's that's pretty good it gets out most of the slight so then I'll click on the check that will make the crops so we have that I'm gonna go ahead and save that to the batch manager again I'll use the same name it will overwrite that's fine I want it to do that um, now I'll go back to the file manager and look at another similar image. So this is my, my fiance sitting on the grass. So I'll discard it. I don't care to save it. All right, so the crop is too large. So it's already applying the same filter I used before. So I can go ahead, I've got this. I could just send it to the batch manager or we'll say I don't want these settings so I can click on this reset that's fine and then if you right click on this you can open a preset so you can see all the presets I made before so you've got the tutorial geek tutorial preset so I click on that and you'll see it makes the changes uh, again I will just reset that um, I'll show you some other ones that I've done before. Um, when I name my presets, I like to do it a little bit about the settings. So this one, it's an outdoor preset. It was taken around noon in the shade, uh, and it was part of Frono's photo tutorial. So I'll just click on that and see what it looks like for this image. Uh, and that's OK. Um, so we could send that, if we like that, we could send that to the batch manager. And it will save the image there. We say OK. And then we go back here to the batch manager. And you can see our images. Um, I think this first one wasn't the cropped one, so I will remove that. And then if we want to save these as JPEGs, we just click Run. And it will save it in the same folder as your raw files as a JPEG. So that is it for Fotivo. I think all in all, I, I do like Fotivo. Uh, I prefer using something like Dark Table. I think the workflow is a little easier. The main advantage I see of Fotivo is it has a lot of different filters. You can do an, a lot with it. It's uh, takes a little bit longer to learn than other raw image editing programs, but all in all, it's a very good program.